It is our distinct pleasure to guide you through today's property. Thank you, Vidish. We are truly honored to be part of this prestigious event which gathers some of the brightest minds to discuss and explore the advancement in technical textile. Without further ado, let us commence the day's program. To begin with, we would like to exchange our warm welcome to our esteemed chief guest, Sri Shuri Pamsi sir. Thank you. 
Thank you everyone. This evening I am also doing the ceremonial writing of the official plan, the symbol of wisdom and suffering. We kindly request our chiefs and the ex-military on stage to do the honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, let me talk to you, tell you something about the World Day Seminar. The World Day Seminar on textile, technical textiles, a transformative force for challenges in agriculture, healthcare, and construction sectors. This word in my technical textile, I was also a bit confused initially. But later, it was beautifully explained by our commander, Professor Kedar Mahathasa, and I realized then what it is all about. Technical textile presents a paradigm shift from the traditional textiles engineered to meet the specific demands of modern applications. These are advanced materials crafted from natural and high performance synthetic fibers are designed to offer superior functional properties such as enhanced durability, thermal and flame resistance, moisture management, and excellent insulation. And such properties make technical textile an indispensable across a multitude of sectors, including Agriculture, construction, healthcare, automotive, defense, sports, space, all. I think our convener who will follow me will explain more in more detail about these things. Thank you very much. and 
in the development or innovation in the field of data science, so I will take more time. And this is, this is, this is I mean, uh, it's not only to discount the application of technical textiles in the modern field, it is a platform that is to also to embedder the futures and because the growing demand of technical textiles they are open up on the new market and opportunity for innovation and sustainability. So I hope all of you will be actively involved in the our technical sessions. So before coming, I will extend my sincere gratitude to our CK, Honorable Minister of Digital Sustainable Institute, for sharing the valuable time your presence will be the financial part of the United Also, I am grateful to Professor Vijay Kumar Vaila, Chief Srikant. He has accepted our request and came from Delhi to enlighten all of us oh, that is regarding the innovation and the development of the profession. He has asked Mr. Tua in this field. So, then, I extend my heart to Antapadada Gantapadada that is the Harishan Director of Testai and presently Independent Director of White Lotus Human Private Limited is active, involvement and cooperate all elements of he, he remains all of the cost and also help us how to make this event success. I would also like to extend my gratitude to sponsor and contributor that is and applause that is Department of Testage Engineering. And I must thank to the faculty and students and also today to actually Chandra to participate in this occasion and to our sponsor of the director of the sky and General Director of the Sky and MD Pinfred Director of the Sky today is not able to attend this seminar because of his certain pre-occupation. But he has been inspiring us from the beginning to make this event possible and efforts of also Mr. Jagdish Nandi, General Director of the Sky. That helped us to make it such that. And also, my in thanks to White Doctors, Nessus Private Limited, Chairman, Mr. Akkad Brother Maharaji, with a major contributor and encourager to bring such type of event. Time to time and help us. So we are invited to buy the bus, private limited. And also, I am very much grateful to Central Fit and the Central Fit and the Core Carbon Service of Private Limited. And the Central Fit and Mr. Mukesh Jai, 
the world. Technical textiles are the only one of the niche market. It is very dynamic and evolving and keeps on changing. The field of textiles is an adjective of technical. In our day, we used to know what only textile is. Now the day has come. We are now important technical textiles. It's a qualification of textiles. However, and we have gone far beyond the available material to different aspects of different departments like medical implants to civil engineering, to the protection of soil elements, and uh, renewable textiles, and so on, including automatic local process industries also. So, this seminar will be a I feel and I wish. Seminar will be a high level for all the students who are there to start something of their own as an interpreter. And it will also be subject to knowledge to be given by our panelists, our speakers, to know much more about technical business. I thank you all much. Thank you.
The point is, as you know, India, in every industry, or in every aspect in the world, second, never first, except populism, in which we are not going to be first now. And first is China. Fortunately, this technical textile sector is one of the sectors in which China is not a competitor. The total textile industry of India, particularly apparel and clothing, is of about 170 million plus dollars. Whereas the technical textile of the whole world is about 220 million plus dollars, in which India's share today is only 20 plus billion dollars. So thus one can although we are the second largest producer of textiles, but in technical textiles we just stand nowhere. Our scale is below 10% in the world. However, there is a possibility. The project is very encouraging nowadays. It is mainly because China is not a competitor. Most of the things in this regard which I will clarify in the beginning of this. The second point is, Japan, USA and Germany are the three major countries who play a major role in developing technical stars. So, we have a fairly good chance to cover up or to attend certain milestones to make extremely good performance in this industry. Another plus point of this industry is technical textile industry primarily falls in medium and small scale. State like Visa has a fairly good sum to take over this industry because we don't really need very high cost industry where we need Tata Vigra or Mani Arata. With just an investment of High to 20 crores, one can very well plan a technical textile industry anywhere in this That is second point. Third point is in last three years, government of India, particularly the digital government, has come up with a very ambitious program called National Technical Textile Visa, NDTA, of about 2,000 crores only for research, development and education, in which so far they have used only 400 crores, remaining 1,600 crores are still left out. There is no data to take this money to set up or to do research or to have a collaboration with industry for education. So, textile department of Odisha, particularly CED, has a good chance to grab this opportunity by submitting project proposal or some industry in Odisha, those who are in small sector, can have a collaboration with academic institutions to take this opportunity. Another point is, under this scheme, the central government, particularly the Minister of Textile, the chief coordinator for this program is Grand Secretary Mr. Rajiv Satsana in Textile Ministry, who is conducting technical seminars from technical textiles all over the country in the last three years. The government of Orissa, particularly the textile department, in collaboration with SEED, can plan a special seminar just to give the awareness to our young entrepreneurs in the state who are interested to take over to this industry. They need all financial support. They invite experts from all over the country to deliver lectures to just present what are the possibilities to do industry in the textile sector and it's completely free. All it means you have to collaborate and you have to take advantage.
mandate of this president. Since our honorable minister is here, what I see, see, I always speak young and elevated because so prior to 40 years of academics, I live in a campus where our customers, they are very important to that age group. And young minister, which is younger than some of my great students of my department. And we have a lot of feedback, we are proud to have such minister who can take one initiative in higher education. That is the area of composite, in which I will give a lecture in technical session. Composite is one area which is coming up in a big way all over the world. And we do not have any systematic composite degree all over the country, neither at a given degree or postgraduate level. Honorable Minister can take the initiative to start a composite science engineering grants in any of the college since it is more related to the start. This department can be open in three different departments as a biggest program or a program in the science that needs state government and university approval. Under the minister can also look into this, which will be the first composite department in the country. Whereas many developed countries have first departments and they are doing wonders. Since composite is a gray area, we have a lot of young entrepreneurs who are today interested to enter into this area, and then Odisha can take the advantage of this scope where I am ready to cooperate or collaborate or to give any technical assistance in this sector. Then coming to technical textile. In technical textile it is not, we cannot have a weekend program, we can have only a MTEC program. MTEC program in technical textile can also be seen or we can examine this to start in CET also. With this, I would like to thank the Institute of Engineers Professor Chapter for inviting me, particularly Professor K. Das, Professor D. Das, and the organizing committee, the President and Chairs of Institute of Engineers of Valesco. And also, I thank our chief guest, Sri Suryam. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the enlightening address. We will now proceed with the release of the proceedings for today's seminar. We kindly request our chief guest and all the delegates to launch the proceedings.
এবং সেই বিষয়ে তার এইগুলো নেই সে সমাজে অত্যন্ত সুদৃঢ় করা জায়গা এবং সাইকোল ইস্যু নিউ বোর্ড এই কথা আসলটা দশ কোটি তিরিশ পঁচাশ বছর ভিতরে আমার সমাজে গ্রহণ করল এবং টেকনিক্যাল টেক্সটাইল উপরে প্রফেসর মহোদয় গুরুদেবের হায়ার এডুকেশনে এরকম কম্পোজিট সঠিকভাবে অ্যাড করতে হবে বিশ্বভাবে এই স্বাধীনতা বিষয়ে মতো সারাংশ আসার জন্য আপনাদেরকে কনসেপ্ট হোক আমাদের প্রদান করে আমার বিভাগ এর উপরে আমি
ये सब पत्रा को कैसे कि हमने इमर्ज जिस टेक्नोलॉजी देखा है तो कि ये हम कौन से ही रखते हैं ये दो ही चीजें ना बोला हुआ है फाइनेंशियल एस्पेक्ट को आप लोगों को कौन से ही करें जब परिवार का तो उसके आदमी को क्या करते हैं जब सुधार में ना काम करें अब तो हम डायरेक्टली कंडर पे इसको आंकल के लिए भी पॉसिबल कर दिया है फिर ना बोले कुर्पा का कैसे वो मोस्टलों में प्रदान करा है कुर्पा का लोगों ने ही आते हैं � आखा पक्की सबकुल दोस्ती पर उसे लोग का जाएगी सुनो तेरे काम जी उठपार में उठपार का दोस्त लोग जहाँ को दौलत लोग ने किरी की दिशा का आमजन बोले आज सेंटर एक एक प्लेस पर ही कोटी कोटी काम का समूह सुनते ये बातों से हाथ पर किए कि सुनते सुनो तो सुनता नहीं तो गाता ये बोले उत्सव दूसरा आप बोलिसा कर मुझे ये बेटा, आमर जो प्राचीन और परंपरा है वही थी, जहाँ टेक्नोलॉजी आधार पर समय और उपयोग भी करती है, जब उसे बहुत से इच्छा जाए करती हो, आज भी तो वे जहाँ समस्त सामान्य संपर्क को देने भी तो पुलिस आप ये असामान्य संपर्क को देख करती हो, ऐसे ही काम का, ऐसे ही समस्त लोगों के विश्वास करती
moves and leaves the planet. Because the Winter Foundation is the main sponsor of Indian hockey team and Indian hockey team has won the medal in recently concluded medal. Sir, uh, Steve Sinkes, I would like to tell you everybody, Thoda, they are there, they are there, they are Because the way he has motivated all the students, participants, delegates, it's very worth noting. I really express my constant gratitude to the students and the Prime Minister for being here with us, for encouraging us for this, to organize this kind of service. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the Chief Speaker the Vijay of the Vijay Kumar Bahra. Sir, it's an absolute pleasure to have you as a chief speaker and whatever you have said, it's well noted by everyone present over here. So thank you very much. I also express my thanks to the guest of honor Engineer Anand Paddas, who is also to contribution for the successful organization of this particular seminar is paramount. He has relentlessly walked day in and day out to make this event a successful one. And I wish, sir, your effort will never go away. I also wish to extend my heartfelt thanks to the Kangana who has also worked tirelessly to make this seminar an event of memorable. Professor Kedar Mata, in fact, you might be thinking. We were also skeptical in how we will manage to make this seminar a success, but I really express my answer and at this, he has a retired person, but the way the kind of report he has put in, I feel that the, the younger forms is also very, very difficult. So, thank you for all the efforts, sir. I also wish to thank all the past chairman, past honorary secretary, county members, president of staff, all the corporate members of the institution of Indian India for being here, for encouraging the entire team of organizers to conduct this seminar. Thank you very much. I also wish to express my Heartfelt thanks to all the industry people, academic people, like most importantly, I would like to take the names of industry, those who were the leading sponsors of this event, like uh, our academic OUPR, OSI University of Technology and Research, then of course the IDD Chokwar, as well as the Apple Industry Startup Center. The uh, industries like mobile products, then core carbonates, then uh, uh, Sambalpuri Gastrana, Boyanika, and uh, Boyagram, and uh, if I have not forgotten, uh, the speed pack of Odisha, I express all the thanks for them. I also wish to express my thanks to all the students who are present over here. I wish you should.
should be here. We should be very, very keenly observing, keenly listening to all the people which are going to be presented in three different, different technical seasons. And all the papers were highly, highly calibrated. I wish you all be printing to the projectors. Thank you very much. I and rest of my time, I keep it reserved for the concluding speech. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now we would like to welcome every student's favorite. Professor Dr. Kinana Das Sir Reporter and Professor Dr. Vipusha Das Sir Chairman to carry forward the first technical session. Thank you, sir. You will request the respected secretary to So we have a camp from India Business and also we have a presence in three continent. Uh, across the globe, and we have a team of different people working on various aspects of the system and environment. Without taking much of my time, I will just introduce to the, our speaker here. Uh, me on my left side, our director of uh, sustainable textile and commodities here. Amulya has created one of the best for the last 20 years in terms of uh, quality, uh, sustainability, as well as all the all aspects of the things in the textile sector. Amulya was a alumni of the city and has done this uh, master program uh, and then has been working in the textile sector for the last 20 years. With me, uh, Dr. Uh, Nguyen Gusan Jena sir is there. Uh, sir is a professor of the league. Almost all of you know about us. I don't have to do much introduction about sir. But as you know, he did great amount of ideas work possibly focusing on the nature of man. With me, sir, if you will, sir, is there, I will just start. Sir, is there, I will take his opinion. The aspects of technical texture and how do we integrate the sustainable fiber in the context of technical texture. As you know, all of us can be looking to the technical texture. Today, the whole focus is that we can talk about that less of technical and more of synthetic. But as the whole world is changing, there is a whole focus on sustainability. There is a focus on the nature. How do we really conserve our ecosystem? That means whatever we do, irrespective of our uses or not, when we put our uses, we must be looking for the ecosystem. And that ecosystem is that how we take the beauty of the different kind of our whole ecosystem. Today, we have been working on various aspects of the system, but when it comes, Always be a consensus about the price. But that whole thing is in the price and the beginning the price to the extra set very simply because all over the world there is much more accountability is coming out. As you know, there is a tremendous pressure on the power station. There is tremendous pressure on that the kind of material you are producing and how it was supply capital to the whole So we have seen Various aspects of the development happen. One of the aspects is that we need to do sector. Every day the sector, why we say, because when you talk about textile, it is not a purely textile, it is a part of the part of the market, the market and power to produce it. But today the market and power doesn't have a price. So that's why we don't see the prosperity when we see the power. We always see it whenever you get into see any program, any agenda, you see the photograph of the power. Always you see a state based. Over the years, but the future has to change. We need to bring in our partner and our partner to the world. So, when you look into the agriculture sector, the sector that can contribute to the agricultural sector is the last two hands, and these are the five words that are really big, they are safe, and contributing widely to all aspects of the agricultural sector. My speaker will talk on that. The other aspect is looking at the construction sector. Today, we talk about the construction sector. The building must be constructed, it is not possible to go to the whole ecosystem. And the direct city to the player of the country has told me through the very country. But the kind of atmosphere we do have, it is not suited to those, those kind of uh, climate because we have today, the humid is very high. In this big room, we have only four AC that we don't have a cross ventilation. That means I am supporting myself. So what we need to do is a technical textile, also you can see the nature of the biotechnology, a bit of a textile product, which can suit him 
the number of blocks are like uh, like 275,000 blocks of rock, uh, raw semi process industry in 2019. And where uh, Canada, like uh, uh, in Colorado, in the USA, it is the largest hemp producer at about 62,275 acres. And here in uh, India, Uttarakhand is the like one of the first place to in India to legalize the industrial hemp cultivators. If this is the right of the hemp, why, why, what, what, why we are not using the hemp? Uh, at least it is confused with the various of the cannabis. Right? But it is actually confused with the cannabis, this is not the cannabis. No. If this hemp material contains like uh, more than 0.3% of THC that can be industrial hemp. So, that's why uh, we can work our like uh, Manfreda school. We can also uh, uh, like Odisha uh, uh, regulatory. We can uh, like promote the health uh, from in, uh, like we can uh, legalize the things, we can make the regulatory issue to like uh, uh, this promote this health crop in Odisha. Um, that's all. Gumbas, Pukra, 
In fact, this is what I have got in the agro-climate picture. Right? And in this eight agro-climate picture, we have, as I say, possibilities of growing almost most of the natural migrants, plant-based migrants. Be it lentil or the banana, the rani, the cotton, 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 and these five are two hundred different properties. This is a full grid with different functional needs. So it's a great scale of space. What do you need? To always think that life when we are using carbon fiber energy. So can they be solved? Natural fibers can be converted in that with carbon technical research application. And the application should also be jumping sustainable. We know we are using hazardous chemicals in the grid and the process of printing the for you know, printing the technical textiles. But if we can print the natural fibers using some of the alternative sustainable processes, I think we can also take the necessary or required components and the functionality of the fibers. There is a lot to do here, I am not going to get into that kind of research and development ecosystem. I think the government of Pakistan and the government of India have already made the initiatives but it has to, it needs to come down to the, to the institutional level so whereby the students are regularly made a benefit out of it and can actually enable the, the necessary ecosystem. Thank you. Thank you. Ma. I think the last question is coming here. How do you see this and it would be a happy one of the best compared to the way we see for the world? How do you see what is that you could bring in the policy for the hemp pandemic? Because of course we have to be legalized, it is not legalized. And one of the states that has been legalized, we are currently doing four cameras going out on 30 acres and we are doing the priority vision of the hemp harvest. We are also the ground harvest. That day to day, I'm testing the work from your perspective only. What is the solution for the state of Odisha? What can be done to introduce the policy in the hand? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
to give us this opportunity to carry forward our discussion on, on a topic of uh, natural fiber and that is for the technical sector. Uh, and uh, we apologize for spoiling your lunch time, and then, uh, but then it was noted to just uh, take this discussion forward and uh, this one will come to the session. Thank you very much. Thank you.